In 1985, when America was gifted the little gray box known as the NES, Nintendo became a household name. Kids no longer played video games, they played Nintendo. And to further push their brand, they began marketing a variety of licensed products. From this day forward, these licensed products will be referred to as Nintendo, Nintendo Oddities. Oddities. Hey guys, NES Addict here, and today I'm super stoked to be bringing you one of the coolest Nintendo oddities that I've ever had. And that is the Nintendo Super Mario Brothers Shower Power Handheld Shower. Ages six and up with scald protection. Now guys, this is one of the weirdest Nintendo oddities I've ever come across. I just can't even believe this exists almost. This is something that I think could have only existed in the time when it did. So, let's take a look at it. So one of the first things I notice is at the top it says new and safe. Why wouldn't it be safe? This is for kids. Did they ever make one of these that wasn't safe? And if so, how many lawsuits did that bring up before they changed it? The second thing that I really like about this is that it has shower power and kind of an old school Nintendo like pixely font. I think that looks really good and I have seen that on some other Nintendo products before but it's a nice touch. And here we have the official Nintendo logo and the famous Super Mario Bros logo that we all know and love. And this just goes to show that it's a handheld shower and it's for ages 6 and up. So there's no cap right? I can still use this at 39? And it says with built-in scald protection. Which makes me wonder, was there an issue with previous ones? Especially because it says new and safe. Like, was this an issue prior? And when did they decide to fix it? And here on the front is a picture that I'm not sure would fly anymore. It's this little boy, or girl, I'm assuming it's a male, with the Mario and Luigi shower head squirting water on themselves which the water looks almost like milk if you actually take a close look at it. It doesn't even look like water. I'm pretty sure this was done in some kind of computer program back in the day because I don't think that's actual water. And then there's a list of bullet points at the bottom. It says patented scald protection actuator reduces potentially scalding water to a safe trickle. Nozzle control ring adjust from soft spray to stimulating pulsing action. How kinky. Kid tested with simple on and off switch. Seven foot shower hose. Can be used as a stationary shower. T connector. Creates dual purpose faucet head. And then here on the bottom it says, keeps kids in hot water safely. And then one of the main things you see is obviously peeking out of the little clear plastic there is Mario and Luigi. They look a little rough, but I guess I would too if I'd been stuck in the shower back in 1989 and probably never properly cleaned. And here on the side it says copyright 1989 Nintendo of America Incorporated. Officially licensed by Nintendo of America Incorporated. That's a little redundant. And here we have the official Nintendo licensed product seal of quality. This seal is your assurance that Nintendo has approved the quality of this product but they didn't improve the old non-safe one without scald protection, I'm assuming. Another neat thing is how they use this to advertise for Nintendo Power. It says to subscribe to Nintendo Power Magazine call 1-800-521-0900. Good old Nintendo Power. And then it just has more of the same marketing you see on the front with the Nintendo logo, the Super Mario Brothers logo, and in the same font it says shower power. And once again, they want you to know that it has scald protection. You're not getting burnt with this. Now let's take a look at the back of this thing. It says the new generation of safe shower play. As if the previous generations were very dangerous when they played in the shower. Here you get a nice image of Mario and Luigi holding up the shower head so you get another look at what that thing looks like. And then it says, built-in actuator protects against hot water scalding. Do you know how quickly hot water can cause severe scald burns? I didn't know. Good thing they tell me. 150 degree Fahrenheit in one second, 140 degree Fahrenheit in five seconds, 130 degree Fahrenheit in 15 seconds, 120 degree Fahrenheit in four minutes, and 110 degree Fahrenheit in 20 minutes. 
Well, I'm glad they took the time to explain that because now I know as long as I keep my shower under 110 degree Fahrenheit, I'm not gonna get burnt. But if I ever decide to take a hot bath, I'll be sure and use my Super Mario Brothers shower power with built-in scald protection. Just wanna make sure you guys understand that this has built-in scald protection. And here's a little pie chart. It just says 150, 140, 130, 120, and 110. And it kind of shows it getting from pink to red to orange to yellow to a different yellow. And then I guess somehow that makes sense over here from uh, this little graph that a math teacher would need to explain. Also here on the back, it shows you that you can do stationary showering with this little attached mounting bracket that they give you. And there's a two-way T fixture connector. Now, I have no clue how it works, but you can be dang sure we're gonna go try it out soon. And finally, it just gives you a little breakdown of the contents, the company that made it, and where they're from. It says one shower head, seven foot hose with skull protection actuator, patented wall mount bracket, and two-way fixture connector. And this is model number 101. Model number 100 is the one that will burn the teetotal crap out of you, so ignore that one. I'm just kidding. I don't know if there is a Model 100. And finally, I believe this is the company that makes it. LME. I haven't done any research on that, so I have no clue if they've ever made any more of these with different characters or not. But maybe I'll do some research before this video is over and I can fill you in at the end of the video. And also, it was made in Taiwan to the specifications of Lee Matthew Enterprises Incorporated in the United States at 291 Main Street, Hackensack, New Jersey, 07601. So that's where you send the complaint letters if this thing actually burns you, which I hope it won't. And on the bottom, there's nothing more than a UPC, but I guess who's looking at the bottom anyway? So one of the questions I have is, I wonder how they display this thing in stores. My guess is it probably just sat on a shelf in rows. But I would have liked to seen this back in the day. I'm not sure that I ever did, but it would have been very interesting. I can't believe they actually made this, and I think the next best thing to do is take this thing out and see how it works. <laughs> Smells like the 80s. Alright, so now that we got it out of the box, let's take a look at it. So here's a closer look at Mario and Luigi. They look a little gross, but I guess you would too if you'd been stuck in a box since the late 80s, early 90s. And who knows if anyone ever used this. The stuff looks pretty clean, but these guys look a little gross, so it makes me wonder if someone didn't try, at least briefly. Here's the two-way piece that I'm not exactly sure how it works, but don't worry, we'll find out. And here's the bracket that you can mount to the shower. I won't be mounting this to my shower because my wife would kill me, but it's kind of neat to see. It looks like it has all the original hardware still inside, which looks like it comes with a couple screws and some drywall anchors. But you're gonna be putting this in a plastic tub, so why would you need drywall anchors? I don't know. All right, so let's get to the shower. All right, so the first step is we're gonna take this piece off. I've already taken the liberty of loosening it up, so it should come right off. All right, there we go, step one, done. All right, step two, I think, is to put this actuator piece on. So we're gonna screw that on there. All right. Done. If I'm not mistaken, step three is probably to screw the shower head back on. So we're gonna put that here. Hopefully I got this on straight. So like that. And last but not least, I believe the step is to screw the seven foot hose onto the bottom of this thing, which you're gonna hear some noise. So I believe what this is supposed to do is give you the option to switch between the shower head and the hose here. Let's see if this thing works. All right, ladies and dudes, we're gonna test this thing out in the ASAG style. Oh my gosh, all right. Sweet, it works. 
I don't know if you guys can see this, so apparently I don't have this sealed off super great, but if you can see the water hitting my hand, we're going to take a nice cold shower with the Mario hose. Oh yeah, all that and more next. This is the more I promised you guys. This thing is amazing. It's actually got a really nice jet to it. So, anyway, let me turn this water off and uh, get you guys a closer up review. Let's see if we can do this. Come on now. All right, look. So it's got, it's got jets. You see that? Yeah, you can give yourself a nice bath of that. That feels good. Look at that. And it also has, wrong side, rain mode. Ooh, for that nice rain bath you want. But yeah, I can see why kids might like this. This is actually pretty cool. This thing is super duper fun. And uh, yeah, I might actually leave this in there for my kids. I got water in my eye and all over the bathroom. Anyway, guys. I hope you enjoyed checking out the Super Mario Brothers showerhead. This thing is friggin' sweet. I'm gonna go back in my game room and wrap this thing up. Alright guys, well that's it for this episode of Nintendo Oddities. I hope you enjoyed checking out the Nintendo Shower Power Handheld Shower, which is more than a mouthful to say. But anyway, if you ever had one of these, let me know in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe, thanks for watching, and until next time, take care and use this if you don't want to get scalded.